There's a wealth of opportunities for Scotland's food and drink sector in the international marketplace, and this plan is all about tapping into that fantastic potential, which means we can sell Scotland to the world. It means businesses based in Scotland, food and drink businesses, can get new business from emerging markets, new markets uh, throughout the whole of the planet, where people just want to buy more and more Scottish food and drink produce. And food and drink exports have increased by over 50% since 2007, so this is a real big success story for Scotland. The image we have for quality, for provenance, for food and drink, which is at the premium end of the market, is put us in really good stead. So we've identified 15 markets around the world where we think Scotland can punch above its weight, where we can really get into these markets and get more and more food and drink companies showcasing their products there. And now we've got a plan behind us which will put resources on the ground, real food and drink experts working for Scotland on the ground in these key cities and that will be transformational I think. That combination of people being out there really understanding how the market works and having a very wide network of contacts and then being able having the time to come back to Scotland to spend time with individual businesses to see how that fits with their own strategy, to spend time with Scotland Food and Drink with the trade association so they can share that knowledge as well. It makes a huge difference. I think directly this four and a half million pounds we'll spend on this team of 16 on the ground in key markets will deliver about 350 million million pounds a year by the time we get to 2017. But more than that, it's that knock-on momentum, it's that added confidence it gives Scotland, added confidence it gives new exporters to get towards this total £1.8 billion opportunity we've identified between now and 2017. It brings together all the different parts of the industry. So the trade association partners here cover red meat, salmon, seafood, bakery, dairy and whisky. So it's about trying to broaden the range of products that we sell overseas. I want to walk into a supermarket in Shanghai, I want to walk into a hotel in Tokyo and have the option of buying Scottish. And the really great news is they want that too. We've met chefs in the Far East, in the Middle East, in North America, in Europe who want Scottish products. So we've got the demand, we know we've got the supply, we just need to bring those two worlds together now.